Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you, the users, can determine what features I will be implementing. If there's something you want to learn about when coding a website, leave a comment and I just want to make a video about it. Today, we're learning about logout functionality with PHP, HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Today, we're going to be adding a logout link at the very bottom of the screen. When you click it, you will be logged out. We are also going to be implementing checks on our login and sign up page. So if I try to go to those pages, it just redirects you to the home page. Signup.php. I gotta spell that right. Signup.php redirects to the index.php page. Since we're already logged in, there's no need for us to be on the login or sign up pages. So when I eventually do click log out, the page will refresh. Our buttons appear, and now we can log in again and sign up. First piece of code we're going to write is on our index.php homepage. We are going to add a link at the bottom right under our loading overlay test. And we're using our isLogin function in our functions.php file. It's going to check the session for the isLogin flag and also the user info. So our link has been added. If the user is logged in, they will see a log out link at the bottom of the page. Hopping over to our website, I'm going to log in. Logged in as test, and at the bottom I should see a logout link. There it is. We need to have cursor pointer on our link. So we're just going to add a cursor pointer in here so we get the little hand when we hover over it. There we go. So our link is there when the user is logged in. Now that we have our login link being displayed out to the user, we need to actually make it work. To do this, we're going to add a onClick to our div. Logout underscore link is the ID, so we're going to add an on click to that div. First thing inside here is we're going to show our loader. Click over the screen, show the loader, so it looks like we're trying to use log the user out. After that, we're going to create an Ajax call to the server, which will log our user out. Copy one of our Ajax calls from our login page. I'm going to paste it right under the show loader function we called. This Ajax call is going to call our PHP process underscore log out file. Um, we can delete the data because we're not passing any data along with this call. We're simply logging whoever's logged in out. And no matter what happens, we're going to hide our loader and reload our index.php homepage. Now let's create the process underscore logout file. Over in our PHP folder, create a new PHP file, process logout, and open it up. First thing we need is our functions file. This includes all the functions, but most importantly, we need this session start here so we can kill the session. And we're going to do that right here by calling session destroy, just like that. What this does is it wipes out all of the information in the session and sets it to an empty array. So we won't have our, our is logged in flag and we will not have our user info array in the session anymore. And then we're just going to echo a response for our Ajax call. And that's all there is to logging a user out. You simply destroy the session, which wipes out any data in the session array. Now we can see this if I um, print out the session down here. This will give us a nice little visual as to what's happening. If I refresh this page, we're logged in. And at the bottom, here's our session array. See, is logged in, user info. If this stuff is here, we know the user is logged in, we know, and we know who they're logged in as. I'm going to open up the network tab just in case we missed something and something goes wrong. I click log out, and our loader did not go away, and the page did not reload, so something failed. We can see here, process underscore logout got called. Click on the call, and click on the response we got back. Oh, there's some errors going on there. Oh, it failed to include our functions.php file. Interesting. Did I spell it wrong? Oh! Process underscore logout is in the same folder as functions. Therefore, we do not need this PHP slash functions because this means it's trying to look for a PHP folder inside of our PHP folder. All right, so we'll try this again. Clear our network tab out here. We're still logged in. I'm going to click on logout. The page reloaded. It no longer says who we're logged in as because we're not logged in as anybody. Our sign up button and login button here are here. And if we scroll to the bottom, there it is, our empty session array. And we do not see our logout link because we're not logged in. So now that we have successfully logged our user out, there is only one bit left to do, and that is make sure that if you're logged in, you can't access the login.php or signup.php file. To do that, we're going to write ourselves a new function. Call this function logged in redirect. If the user is logged in, which we get by calling this function right here, if they're logged in, 
we're going to redirect the user to our home page. Anytime we call this function and the user is logged in, they're going to be sent to the home page. I'm going to open up our logged file and at the very top here, before the HTML, we're going to call that function. To call it, we have to include the functions.php file. We've got our functions file included and we can call our logged in redirect. So before it gets to any of the HTML stuff, it's going to check to see if the user is logged in. If it is, it's going to redirect them in their browser to the index page. Let's try that out. I'm logged out, so I should be able to hit the login page. I am, but I failed because we have a PHP error. Login line three. Oh. Dang semicolons. All right, refresh it. We can hit the login page. I'm going to log in. Redirects me to the home page. Tells me who I'm logged in as. We see our session array is populated. And the logout link is down there. Now we're going to try going back to the login.php page by typing it in the URL. And you see it redirects me right back to the home page because of our check. Now since I did not add it to the sign up page yet, we can hit the sign up page, which is one we also want to restrict. So all we have to do is copy this little bit right here, the include and the function call, open up our sign up page and paste it just like we did on the login page. Back on our sign up page, if I refresh this, we get redirected to our index.php file. So now the only way to access login and sign up pages is to be logged out. I'm gonna remove our session since we know it's working and I log out and now I can access our sign up page and our login page. And that wraps up logout functionality with PHP, HTML, CSS, and jQuery. To recap, we created a link. We attached an Ajax call to that link. That Ajax call hit our server and used the PHP session destroy method to clear our session and set it to an empty array. That is how you log a user out. That's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.